Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review a custom ROM for Redmi Note 8 and this time we have Alpha Droid ROM. So I have tested Alpha Droid ROM uh, maybe two or three months ago. This is a newer version of that ROM and I have been using this ROM for a week now and I have a mixed feeling about this ROM and actually this, it frankly said this ROM is actually a complete useless ROM. Not because the ROM, ROM is bad maybe the, it has an internal issue with kernel or something like that so let's go and check this from first of all let's go and check our android version of the things so android so read me in the note 8 and if i go to android versions as you can see alpha droid android 13 and on february 5 2023 so it is not march maybe next week you will have march and alpha droid version is 1.2.1 so whenever you are reviewing this from so check your version as you can see so Basically, it's a look very similar and the ROM setting inter interface is a bit different than usual OSP ROM and we do have a uh, Xiaomi Force option so you can calibrate your display and I did not have any issue with uh, display uh, retention because after I have been already uh, changed the setting and also if you go to alpha uh, alphabet so you, you can change uh, some some interface so as you can see, I have changed a bit only. I did not change, I just changed the icon of my battery percentage and other, nothing else. So you can change and you, you have everything. So other things like if you go to the hotspot option, you still don't have a uh, 5 gigahertz band. So I don't know why they don't include that. So we don't have, oh yes, we do have 5 gigahertz band on this ROM. We don't have, in the last ROM I have reviewed, we don't have that. But in this ROM we have 5 gigahertz band. I haven't tried the uh, band yet. So we do have 5 gigahertz band and security we do have fingerprint and other things. So fingerprint is working just fine. So there is no issue. It's really fast and reliable. There is no issue with that. And going back. So as you can see the apps and run. The ROM is running very smoothly. And the battery. So the battery after using like when I have installed this ROM, first two days I got really bad battery backup on the ROM. Uh, the phone was very heating too much and it was not charging properly too. Like if I, I was using like fast charger, it did not work. Sometimes it charged, sometimes it disconnect automatically, it did not charge. And I have, it is quite strange actually. I haven't faced this time for, uh, this kind of issue in any other ROM. This is first time I am pain, uh, facing this kind of issue like the charger is disconnecting automatically like fast charger. But if I use normal charger, it was working. And when I was getting actually fast charging speed, but as I said, it just disconnecting. So after two days, actually, I have been faced that issue actually. And also the, the ROM was not heating that much. Um, it is quite stable and it does come with um, GFs, vanilla, and you can choose between GFs, vanilla, uh, GFs core and stock. So whatever you like, I have flushed GFs core here so that I don't need actually a lot of apps, a lot of GFs, I don't really use those. And also it does come with um, Gcam Go, which is working just fine and others Gcams too. So no issue with that Gcam and other cameras, those cameras working just fine. As you can see, and we do have uh, auxiliary camera support. So if we click on auxiliary camera, as you can see it's working. Oh, yes. As you can see, auxiliary camera and other cameras are working just fine. And it's also the Gcam, the main Gcam also working. No issue. So as you can see here, we have... So you can switch between the lenses and there is no issue with that. So that's it about the ROM and other things. Now come to the main point where I'm saying this ROM is useless. Although it is quite good as long as you know his everything is working. Even the bank apps also work. So no issue with that. The main problem is that if your phone turned off, sometimes it doesn't turn on. So it's just stuck on the boot logo. It happens with me many times now after using this ROM. As I said, so this ROM I've been using and the phone died because of battery uh, was drained. And I charged, I plugged the charger. It did not turn on actually. It is stuck on boot logo. I, have, I was waiting. And after some time, like it took two, three hours to boot and it boot up. Even when I have like the, my phone has charged, when I turned it off, it did not boot back. 
it was stuck on like uh, start screen event, you cannot access TWRP. If you go to access TWRP, it will start there too. I don't know, it is quite strange with this ROM, like battery drain, heating issue, and also like not turning on, stuck on booth logo. So this kind of strange issue, but otherwise this ROM is actually quite good ROM. I haven't faced any kind of issue rather than that use like power issues. So that's it all about Alpha Droid ROM. Although it's not recommended to install this ROM, but still I will put the ROM link in the description below. If you want to try, you can try it. Not the old one too, and not the usable also. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.